Bronx drill is wild. And today we're breaking down the craziest and most disrespectful lyrics that actually happened. Being a drill rapper in the Bronx is like living in a war zone. And this first bar is a shot at Sugar Hill King from Set the Trend on C Blue's track, Setty Blue. He said, move, look, he should have died. No, there's too many ops in the sky. Why they dissing us? I don't know why. C Blue's from a Rolling 60s crib set called Rayway, and they're clicked up with Sefsai slash DOA. Sugar Hill King, aka Move Look, reps their ops to OYs, and a couple years ago, rumors started going around that he had been shot in the head. It's not clear where the story actually started, but that's not the only time set the trend dissed him over it. On the track OYK, he said, Don't go out like King, that nigga pussy. Think he touching me? Got a Glock and a hole 23. Spot him, I got him, put him on a tee. There's no proof Keem ever actually got shot though. Nobody knows how the situation really went down. But on the track Evil Twins, Keem claims that the ops tried to take him out but missed. He said, and I never got shot in my head cause y'all missed. Smoking dead niggas out the zip. Keem also clapped back at Seti on the track Ice Cream Truck and this is Dead Father with the line, move look, he be toting his knocker. She had thought, I beat up her boxer. Hey yo Seti, we smoking your father. Spin the Sev, looking for a target. Seti's dad unfortunately died from diabetes back in 2021. Losing your dad is hard enough, but not even parents are safe from getting dissed in the Bronx. Nobody knows if Keem got hit up or not, but this next line clowns another rapper who caught a bullet to the leg. K-Flock is locked up on Rico and murder charges right now, but he's still probably the hottest Bronx drill rapper in the game, and his homie Dougie B is the reason he ever hopped in the booth. Dougie, Flock, and their homie B Love all came up together in the streets and started rapping around the same time. Flock blew up the most, but Dougie got a lot of shine when him and Flock linked up with Cardi B for the track Shake It. Even though he's working with superstars, Dougie still has street ties, and in July 2021, he got caught in a shooting and was hit in the leg. His op Shy K clowned him on the track Don't Forget That when he said, Don't run, I ain't let him trip. Hop out the V and niggas up the blitz. DOAK, all that shit to my dick. Dougie B, he got shot in the leg. What the fuck? Free Keem, cause I know he gon' up. Shy E.K. reps the OGs and actually used to be tight with Dougie, Flock, and B-Love. But they ended up falling out and he clowned his old homie for getting hit up. He's not the only dude named Shy who dissed him over it though. Shy G's clowned him on Talk My Shit Part 3 and said, Slide through the Seb, trying to knock off his head. Hop, hop out, he fled. Dougie got shot, he was yelling, my leg. Shot G's is one of the most disrespectful dudes in the drill way, and he took shots at Nas EBK and set the trend on the same track with the bar. Everything shot, if he yelling, what's cracking? Nas EBK, he got robbed for his jacket. Set the trend, niggas fucking your mother, and I heard you did bad in the summer. Nas EBK came up trapping on his own without banging the set, but some of his homies allegedly set him up back in the day, and he's been repping DOA ever since. There's different stories about what happened though. The ops clown him for getting his jacket snatched, but Nas says he actually got jacked for some weed. That's all they got from me. I pound a wedding cake. Congrats. That's $2,000. Oh my God. Shaw took a shot at him over the situation, but it's nothing compared to the bar he aimed at set the trend. There's no evidence to back it up, but rumors say said his ops from the YGs were hooking up with his mom. It was already a savage diss, but then he took it even further by clowning Seti for losing a homie to the streets back in the summer of 2021. Shaw still wasn't done though. Next, he dissed two more ops who got shot and said, Ty Benji got caught at the light. It's on sight. RB got shot in the night. Send a kite. In June 2020, Ty Benji was sitting in the back of a cab on the corner of East 163rd Street and Tintin Ave when a white BMW rolled up next to him. Someone in the BMW started yelling at him. Then they upped the strap and shot Ty in his head. He was rushed to Lincoln Medical Center for treatment, but the gunshot wound was too bad to recover from and he tragically died four days later. After it went down, rumors were flying that Ty was taken out by the YGs for dissing one of their dead homies. But last year, news broke that a dude from a set called Washside was booked for the murder. Shot G's is known for sending wild shots at the ops, but Nas EBK can be just as crazy in the booth. On the track OYK, he said, Dummy got poked and he rested in pits. Like what? Like how? The Lila went out in a headshot? Little nigga, that's D D. Dummy, aka Dumb Out, was a dude who repped the drillies and got stabbed to death after he got into a fight with an alleged crip. He was at a barbecue with some homies in the Bronx when the fight broke out. The situation cooled off, but then a dude came back with a knife under his jacket and stabbed Dummy in the chest. Dumb Out allegedly robbed Lil TJ back in the day, and after he died, TJ dropped the track Dumb Out and said, RIP Dumb Out, man, I think I'm about to cry. Nah, I lied. Haha, <laughs> nigga in the sky. And fuck that nigga, 
I'ma say it proud. I'm a real nigga. I done lost some niggas in the field, nigga. I'm innocent, but I'm happy you got killed, nigga. TJ made it out of the streets and started hitting the mainstream, but that didn't stop him from getting shot seven times and almost dying. After the news broke, Sage really clapped back at him for dissing his homies and took a shot at him on the track Cry Me a River. First, he clowned some of TJ's dead friends, then said, one of them died and the other one fled. I was praying to God that little TJ was dead. TJ came back from the shooting with the track Beat the Odds and made it clear he wasn't backing down even though he almost got taken out. He barely made it out alive, but TJ still sent shots at the ops and responded to Sage Drilly by dissing Dumb Out again. But this and Dumb Out wasn't the craziest shot Nazi BK took on the track OYK. Next up, he went after an innocent woman named Delilah Vasquez, who was shot and killed back in 2021. Delilah was tied with K-Flock's alleged cousin, D-Thing. Even though they may be blood related, D-Thing reps the YGs, so that makes them ops. Delilah didn't rep the YGs, but she was cool with a lot of street dudes and ended up getting killed in an abandoned apartment complex. A woman and another suspect got booked for the murder, but Delilah's family had to move out of their apartment because so many people were sending death threats to them. Some people think dissing an innocent dead woman is too far, but Nas ain't the only dude to clown D-Thing over her death. On the track D&D, Shahi K said, There's a whole lot of ops I could smoke, but I'd rather just smoke on Delilah. Then Nas took more shots in OYK at PNVJ with the bar, snatching his chain, no PNV. All black for the drill, you ain't seeing me. PNVJ came up with K Flock and used to be tight with Dougie B too. But then some things went left and Jay got his chain snatched. According to Jay, I'm at the studio, I see niggas, I try to get up out of there because the niggas I was with, niggas pulled up on me, you feel me? And they beat me up for my chain. You feel me? I put up a whole fight for my shit. Dougie hop on IG to show off Jay's chain and brag about the robbery, but someone tipped off the cops and he ended up getting arrested for it. Jay claims that Dougie isn't actually the one who snatched his chain. I saw a rumor that uh, Dougie B took your chain. Nah, Dougie B ain't take nothing. But who really took it doesn't matter to the ops. Robbing your own homie is crazy. But this next rapper spit a wild bar about shooting off the back of a dirt bike and it ended up coming true a year later. PJ Glizzy is known for tracks like Muddy and Quick to Attack. Back in 2021, he linked up with B Love for the track COE and said, I might just slide to his block with a dirt bike. I'ma keep clicking, clicking till he drop. Ops keep calling my line, we don't front shit. He told him big noggers, bitch, this ain't no Glock. At first, it was just another drill bar about taking out the ops. But a few months later, PJ allegedly made the line come true. Last year, he was booked on a murder charge and the cops say he killed a 2MF member named Matt Sav in the summer of 2021. According to reports, PJ pulled up on a dirt bike to a crowd on West 141st Street and Frederick Douglass Boulevard and started letting off shots. A lot of Bronx rappers get caught up in cases because they brag about their drills and music and social media. But PJ doesn't care and lets his ops know how he's coming. 